Hey everybody. Okay, it's Lisa, Transcendence Brown. And I don't have a purpose in this video, but it's been a very long time. So I wanted to stop by, say hello, send my love to everyone. Um, I know that there are a lot of people um, having a rough time with a lot of the energy upgrades that are going on lately. Um, but believe me, it's worth it. And in you will appreciate it. Um, there's much going on, and um, there's uh, nowhere to start. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, the frequencies have changed tremendously in the last few months. Um, a lot of this is um, because we keep upgrading to a higher frequency, and every time we do, what we hear or feel um, changes as well. And um, those who have been with me the last few years and know that I listen to the frequencies in my head. And um, they used to be outside, they moved in, and now they're both. I used to have to wear earplugs um, to tune in frequencies. And that then the inside world that we all had to learn to um, clear completely and transcend and moves out and then we're walking in this magnificent space and place uh, where the physical world now manifests or materializes according to uh, our realities um, inside and it's absolutely beautiful. I, these light encodements that we receive um, inside of us activate our new serving DNA, absolutely everything is occurring inside of us. We have an outside representation and to um, represent that, to show us what things are. But as the entire universe, when the sun um, flares, uh, we feel it inside. As humans, a flare means something's coming up. It also means that um, we're going to, um, if there's anger, if there is anything that's not okay, it's going to make itself visible and be seen. Our physical body is going to have a response to that. Uh, but once we have cleared all of that density, then the only thing left um, is love and peace and magic and bliss. And yes, we are supposed to exist here. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> then the activations are upgrades and they are magnificent and we are we don't suffer anymore we have no there's no fear there's no judgment there's no blame um, the one that i came to understand recently was this creation of scenarios and how much our human mind creates scenarios in every moment so i have been working the last um a bit um, to not to create a scenario no matter what I see, not go into assumption no matter what I hear, and no matter what presents in front of me, do not start creating a reality unless I want that one in my world. Um, as humans, we created our realities based upon assumptions and fears, and so that one has been a huge one um, to actually master um, as a master here. And yes, it took me a while to be okay with the word Ascended Master uh, once I ascended. I mean, it's not something we run around shouting out because it really technically doesn't matter unless we're using it to um, assist another in remembering as well uh, from a place of empowerment um, for all of us as star beings here. Um, Lately, everything for me these last many months, and it has been this way for a while, but it becomes more prominent as we go uh, based upon the journey that we chose. Um, nothing comes into my physical awareness until it's about to materialize in my world. Um, apparently, this is the way I set things up um, because I was asking for a while, why do I not get to see like others do? I see holographically. I see um, telepathically, 
Is she in my third eye? Is she, ether? Is she in the higher realms? Now, um, even that has changed. There are no more higher realms. It took a while, and it always does, for my human mind to catch up. We expand and contract, expand and contract, and our physical bodies blew up to push out the density inside of us. And for a while, our physical bodies held density in physical form, and it was very heavy. Then we pushed that out. And then we blew up with air, um, photonic air. Um, hear the cows? <laughs> And then our consciousness, uh, ex for me, and I can only use my own experiences here, and I do not speak from a place other than that which I experience in the physical realm. I don't bring you stuff off in La La Land, even though that sounds like where I live. I do live in La La Land, but in a physical world here. And in my physical world materializes according to the vibration that I hold overall and that I have unified to here in a physical um, reality. Now, the thing about it is, is we are not bound by limits. We are not bound by time. We are not bound by physical locations anymore. This is about to get really fun. The integration, the merging of day and night. That was a huge one. I didn't know that was coming. Um, there are no more dark clouds anymore. There's no more density in the sky. We have silver clouds anytime it wants to rain. Um, there's just a bit of rain with some sunshine. Um, the skies are interactive, and that is quite mag magnificent as well. And recently, Rose Ferracci and myself went outside, and we called forth an entire armada that was magnificent. The whole sky cleared. In the beginning, there was just a few stars, and then all of a sudden, we said, make yourself shown, we want to see. And the next thing you know, everything started to clear, and it lit up, and there were galaxies upon galaxies upon galaxies, and all this ancient information and memories came forth. It's inside of us, and our DNA um, has been encoded with our ancient memories, and uh, we bring it forth from inside of us. And that what I share with everyone is that which I came here um, with. We all have this capability um, to um, expand our consciousness far beyond our physical body. And this started happening with me, and I use time as a reference only, uh, a few months, uh, over the last many months, I noticed that my consciousness was over there and over there and back there and back there and processing and doing all of these things all at one time. I realized, and I have been for the last few human years, um, bringing forth quantum physics and, and um, subatomic molecular restructuring of and, and how the DNA of a star being works. I, I see inside the human body and the human brain and how the human doesn't have the mental capacity to understand any of this. And the mind has to be completely stretched so far beyond his current comprehension. This is how we become expanded and multidimensional. Our consciousness literally expands so far beyond our physical body that our reality it changes to adapt to that. Uh, we are no longer limited to the physical body anymore. Now the cool part is that the ability to materialize all new realities has now begun. And that has become quite fun. And recently, and I have known this for a few years, but there is a difference in knowing something here and truly experiencing it and getting it here. This is what we all do once we hit the vibration inside of us. And then it's ours. It's our memory. It's our knowledge. And it's that which we hold inside of us as our higher selves, using words here, as our multi-dimensional being selves, as expanded consciousness. They are all the same things. Um, now, what is about to happen 
is yes words quantum beyond this existence here it is a leap it is a jump it is a complete obliteration of our previous reality as we knew it before everybody's been in a holding pattern everybody's been clearing anything that was left um, other than me sleeping a bit uh, for a day um, all I do is hear the vibrations and the frequencies um, and that's pretty much all um, awareness is in every moment and it never leaves and we are aware of absolutely everything as it transpires um, sometimes before um, as masters we completely create our world nothing occurs that is not our choice and we learn how to bend and shape realities um, just because we can those are my words and I like to say them because they're fun we are portals to the higher realms as ascension guides we are able to bring others into our realities here in order to see what we see in order to expand and be in this frequency with us here now somebody I'm here on Kauai I have a completely different experience than most do unless they have been around me or <coughs> excuse me frequencies are targeting our throat unless they've come to remember it inside of themselves and so many remember this so many get it and they're everywhere just look us up and we have an entire network of everybody multi-dimensional star beings everywhere and masters um, that are have stepped up and have been doing this for a very long time it's absolutely beautiful and we come together now that's what we've all waited for we are portals and those who have ascended and remember their own mastery again become ascension gateways in order to bring others through now we used to do this in an etheric state and now we walk in what others consider a lucid dream that's a fun word it's human it is outside the matrix it is beyond the illusion it is outside the quantum field I don't know the proper words uh, that one would use for that um, we break the barriers of space and time just by remembering that we can just by bending the human mind so far beyond human comprehension and yes we've had this conversation many times if you expect crazy you'll do just fine here because the fun crazy in the beginning we question our sanity but then it becomes quite fun and that's the part because crazy is the new reality because this does not make sense magic and the things that come forth now not to the human but to us the star beings so totally do all right, there is a point to this. I started out to say I love you, and I do. But apparently I'm wandering off into my crop circle left field. I'll come back and tell you I love you again before I go. Galactic human stargates. We had this in our energy, in our star being DNA, an etheric template uh, that was anchored um, recently. The removal further removal of any separation of time occurred. Now I can explain what my experiences and understandings are with this thus far, but it actually, in all honesty, I, I am remembering so much in every moment. Um, tomorrow, it might be completely different. So in this moment, this is what it is. Our, I have been listening to coordinates and frequencies dial if you will uh, they are 
the universe, the galactic center, well, I don't know what the, your wording you wish to use is. I don't care. I use mine. All that matters is that you understand it, not the words I use. Coordinates dial. I know I'm about to have a completely new reality experience that I have been moved from the previous reality, if you will. That what comes forth, that I need to be present and aware and pay attention. And sometimes it's one or two quotes. Sometimes a couple weeks ago, human time again, for reference only, it was a ton of them. And I thought, oh, magnificent, this is about to be awesome. No, it wasn't. It took us back to human realities where I had to observe human all over the place. And luckily, I was present and aware, and I utilized the experience um, myself. Um, and luckily, we don't have the old things in the way, so we just kind of float through it as best we can. Um, so, fast forward. Um, during that time, it was important, because why we felt we were stuck, we were not. Why we felt we were stuck, our templates were being wiped. That we were being raised vibrationally and stopped. Everything in that reality and that frequency had to go, had to clear. And then the frequencies, the Stargate codes would activate and we would go up, let's say the next day. We would stop in a holding pattern, then it was time to clear anything left in that parallel, in that reality, in that existence had to be let go. Um, I just listen to these. I have the words. I know what they are. I'm not really having many experiences. For us, it's kind of boring. And we tend to um, do whatever we feel in that moment is appropriate. Um, we try to stay in creative mode. Um, there's been a lot going on um, in the physical world to do. So we've been doing a lot. Um, so anyway... Um, Raise, clear, raise, clear. Sleep, state, clear, clear, clear. Everything is clearing. Old, old, old. Uh, it's got to go. We cannot catapult uh, where we're going uh, pretty soon uh, without all the old stuff there. This is where all the human suffering comes in is because all those belief systems have to go. And what one will experience will be um, indicative um, of the vibration of frequency that they have um, come to uh, be at during this space and time for their, their own self. Um, in these frequencies, the and, and getting away from the higher realm, lower realm verbiage, because it doesn't apply anymore. There is no higher realms, but still for a reference point, I kind of have to use it for now. Um, in the lower realms, there's a lot of stuff that has to be cleared, and a lot of those who haven't woken up have to wake up, and that creates a bit of suffering. Um, and those in the higher realms um, have don't have that anymore. We don't even see the lower realms exist. We don't know anything. Um, and I speak in a we. I don't know who is experiencing this, um, but I know that there are others, so this is for we, because we is a frequency of unity, and this is where we exist. Um, not in an I. Nobody cares about that. Other than the fact of I'll hit an I am, I'll bring it forth, and then I'll move on to we again, because that is separation. Um, and we're not supposed to exist there anymore. Um, frequencies have turned to amazing. We see uh, this is the golden age of Gaia, are the words I saw recently, I did not know that. don't know anything until I experience it. Um, gold is appearing and everything. I have become utterly obsessed with the color gold all of a sudden. I'm seeing it in everything, and a few months ago I was buying crystals and they were all had gold in them, did not know that's what was coming. Um, gold in the dewdrops on the blade of a grass. Gold in the sky. Um, I hear frequencies of diamonds. I heard these a, um, a year ago. 
um, silver and gold. Now there's an additional color of blue that's in there um, which are prominent and um, I will the color spectrums that are available to us are absolutely magnificent so many colors but lately and it's funny you can walk out and say turn that tree green and that tree will turn green and you'll look over there and say okay now let's turn this and we can actually add color to things it is a very psychedelic experience as we have come to explain it here um, this is uh, part of the process and it is in our crystalline bodies in our star being DNA in order to exist here DMT is released in our system so that we can see the new realms and then we come to be here and it's the only thing that we know this is our physical world here this is new earth it is the portal to the galactic centers uh, that we all are about to have access to in the physical now I'm going backwards and all over the place and spiraling about. This is what we do. And the We are portals to the words the other sides keep coming out. So for now I will use them. We are galactic portals. We are gateways. And we can now carry others with us through. And when they have to be opened first and accessed. And that is what is occurring right now. And we do this every day um, in physical, in the physical reality. And what is happening occurs every day. And so um, there is no uh, one time for this. This is our existence now. And yes, it is a very physical thing. It's not long off out there. It's happening right now. Day and night merges. It becomes one. It will be purples and pinks and blues and magnificent. There will be no separation that was human. I did not know that till the other day, until it came up inside my own memories here and for sharing for others. And we've already started to experience it. Our minds just hadn't caught up. The skies are magnificent and darkness will go. That was part of the duality, the light, dark game illusion uh, that um, existed before and it's gone and so those who wish to um, ascend and come into the higher realms um, will be seeking an ascension guide a multi-dimensional star being a galactic being here that already possesses the ability to do this um, I guess now this is why I'm doing this video. Apparently, I did not know that's what was up. Uh, but as we start to heat up but with the uh, in activations, um, galactic starts to come out. We are seeing and experiencing in the physical now um, what was not available before. So the gateways are opening. And they have been, we just could not see them. We, as a human, the words were um, seeing the ships decloaking. Um, and over the last years, those were the words I used. I realized they are not decloaking. We are now in the vibrations where the ability for materialization in our reality can now occur. All of these activations, this is what they're for. And for those who live in a human existence, this is not going to make much sense. Um, your heart will understand it if this is something you're interested in. Your mind will not be able to wrap uh, around it yet. But this is why we share. This is to assist you in expanding beyond your current space of consciousness and that um, which has uh, held all limited until now. Um, all of us <clears throat> that do this have been doing this for a very long time. The consciousness movement, as we called it, has turned into um, our existence here and the galactic cities 
um, now a physical oops, excuse me, a place uh, that comes forth and beyond that this this goes to ancient cities all um, being a place now that we can um, come to exist as again. And so a, we'll not go into being portals at, at length right now. Um, I actually need to be in that frequency to um, do it in detail. Um, the information came forth recently in a mastery course that we did last week and the first one that triggered uh, my own remembering and then by the time we did the night course in the international one for overseas I had all new understandings and saw um, what I couldn't see before um, then um, the scene was from my own experiences and what had been occurring I have been bringing others into my reality so that they could experience this and then they go away and they have the capability to continue to expand and become portals themselves um, by doing the inner journey and by transcending all of the previous limits that they put in place and all the veils that they held before. This is what we all do here and they've all been removed. There was a few weeks ago where that the galactic veils of uh, were being lifted and they so have in every way, shape and form. Um, I know there's a lot and there's plenty and I have tons and tons and tons to share. I will say to all of those on Facebook and some of the other um, networking places that I work, I, I have not been able to um, interact as much as I desire to because I work in many realms, the physical and the online, and um, the, the etheric realm is just a place to clear. There's not a whole lot there anymore. When I close my eyes, it is, uh, oh, I do need to talk about sleep here because it is really important. And when I close my eyes, it's a 30 minute, and then boom, wake up, you're done, and there's a now the last few days I have been sleeping, but up until that time it was go all night, go all day, when the time templates were being adjusted within us and removed and wiped again, because we go through this um, every solstice or whatever time it is, um, time being a reference point, time doesn't matter, you will find every time you're trying to be on time and fit into the box of time, things are going to go haywire and it's not going to work anymore. Time speeds up very fast. Um, it used to take me a couple hours to get ready to be somewhere or I even do a session online. Now I have to start four hours in advance because time speeds up and the next thing you know, time's gone and it didn't do anything. The other day I um, had to rent a car to go north um, to the post office, which was a five-minute drive. Um, I went up, came back, and went to go to the airport um, to pick up rules, and two hours were gone um, in human time, but yet I had only driven 20 minutes. Um, clocks don't matter anymore. We do not sleep according to clocks. We sleep when we feel like it. We're supposed to keep going. doesn't matter anymore. Dark and night will cease to exist. And for those who are trying to sleep according to time, it is going to be very confusing. In their realm, they will still have the old skies. I'm assuming this is a vibrational thing. I don't know. Um, I do know that when Rose came in from mainland, she's like, it is not like this on, um, wow, I just started to say Earth. So <laughs> that was interesting. Um, old Earth, New Earth, they are quite different, and this one is a complete different realm. Uh, New Earth has been here, we've been playing in it, living in it, and it is extremely magical in a place um, that uh, everybody seeks to be again. Uh, but you cannot just come to Kauai and arrive and expect to have this experience on your own unless you've been doing this journey and you are in utter and complete alignment and you know what to look for. And this is why the Ascension Guides now will have to step up. This is why those who seeketh this will have to come forth 
in order to utilize us as gateways and stargates in order to um, complete their ascension journey um, with greater ease and um, bypass a lot of what um, was before and the suffering is uh, quick and over and it can be expedited and this is why I do the light body energy as well is because I can bring one um, here and in a matter of uh, we did this on the ascension journey um, completely transcended the human experience to bring forth the star being inside all fears all everything gone in a matter of light body sessions every day and knowing um, bringing one into this vibrational frequency and clear, 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 clear. It took three weeks. That was it. Fourth week was integration. Fifth and sixth week were covering the basics and then it was done. And then the person went back and said, wow, it was like I was walking a dream. I don't remember any of it. it they will. It is like walking in a dream. You do come, the, I'm going to use human words here, to heaven. You walk in heaven and then you go home and then it's up to you to finish the journey on your own and take that vibration of frequency back and then use it to activate others as well. And this person, I said, when you go home to the rainy weather that you've always had, you're going to have sunshine now. They sent me a message and said, I'm sitting in the sunshine. That's never happened before. You don't go back to the old reality. You don't go back to the old earth because that was inside of you and we bring that out. So, with that, I think that I have said everything <laughs> that I apparently did not set out to say. Um, and y'all know me. I just go. And this apparently was what it was meant to be. So, first and foremost, I absolutely love every one of you from deep within my heart. And what an honor to be on this journey as we have come to be this so far. Um, and to have this catapult that we're all in the crux of right now and to watch it all transpire and know that very soon, and I do mean very soon, um, we're all about to quantum leap uh, beyond anything that um, has been experienced this far. So let go of all of those old realities. Let go of the old beliefs, let go of the old programming, open your mind and open your heart to absolutely anything happening and listen to what's inside of you and let go of the judgment and let go of the suffering. You don't need it anymore. It was an old belief system and um, that's gone. We are here to assist those who have truly made a choice to make their journey priority and um, put it first. And for those who want to do it themselves, you are like the rest of us who did. Um, and unfortunately for many of us that meant suffering. Um, and um, at least we're in vibrational frequencies now that the moment uh, we get it, uh, the moment the suffering goes. And back then when all of us came through it, that was not the case. It went on and on and on forever, it seemed. So, I send you the most amount of love that I can, and I am honored every day with our exchanges in every way. And those that I shall connect with now, I already am doing this in other states, and you're coming forth, we're connecting in the most beautiful ways. So, I thank you, and I love you.